Now, this is probably one of those saddest videos I'm gonna make because I have actually a very close relationship with my processor. If you don't know, I have in my computer a Ryzen uh, 7. It's a 1700 model, which is this one right here. When this uh, Ryzen launched, those, those processors, especially the first generation Ryzen, was such a big, big hit uh, because they came with something actually that was new. The prices, now when I'm thinking, it wasn't that amazing, but still with all that hype that they have, uh, I, somehow I, I pay for uh, this processor around uh, 300 euros that's how much I pay for that uh, and I bought them I think in uh, in 2017 but I think in October if I remember correctly I uh, I, st I still uh, using this processor right now it's the only one I have in my only PC and I think it's still a great one the first generation AMD obviously have some problems especially with the memory but still I think they remain one of those most successful uh, launch they ever made and they have another good processor especially with the Ryzen 5 and even Ryzen 3 but the Ryzen 7 uh, 1700 I think everybody kind of agree that was the absolutely best buy you can uh, you can do then they moved to the second generation the Ryzen 2000 series which I think wasn't that much difference between them and um, I don't think they did that well in sales especially uh, because they came after uh, that first generation which was such a big uh, uh, hype now with the 3000 series I think they fixed a lot of issues then they did uh, go a bit back uh, from uh, that first generation in uh, in, uh, in that uh, sales department at least I think they did very well with this generation also especially was a Zen 2 based architecture so they actually came up with something new uh, it wasn't that much uh, better in my opinion to make me switch to them but uh, a lot of people who especially came from the Intel I think they switched to AMD uh, when they see they actually uh, have a good strength and another big uh, factor that they that they did they keep the on, the on the same platform on the same socket and AM4 which I think is again one of those most successful uh, socket they ever made uh, now they have the AM5, but I'm going to talk about it in the end of that, that because I think they have some big issues here, especially from the motherboards. Now, uh, with the next generation, it was I think a 4000 series, which is kind of a flop. I didn't understand it exactly what they uh, did, it, but uh, somehow they uh, uh, still released that one. Now, I think one of the most successful, especially if it was a probably even a bit uh, better than the first generation, I think, because right now they're still going on the uh, M4 uh, plus socket platform they came with a Zen 3 the pretty much a uh, third generation let's say a uh, truly th third generation uh, processors and they came up with such a great uh, value especially right now when you still have the uh, well, now we have the Zen uh, 4 architecture and the AM6 socket but uh, the prices on those things are kind of weird so I think again the most successful processor probably is going to be this one the 5000 series and I think uh, I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking two things one I'm going to switch to the 5000 series or I'm going to wait for the AM6 socket let's see what that brings but because the, I want I think I'm going to skip entirely the AM5 because I don't see any uh, anything that is going to actually make me to spend that much money especially when I have to change the motherboard I have to change the memory to just change the processor and I think that when I, from what I do when I uh, compare the 5000 series with the latest even 9000 series I don't think it's uh, that much compelling to me to make that much uh, investment but for the Ryzen 7 and 5 I think the 5600X it's a great buy also and from the 7000 series depends uh, which uh, offers you can get in your country probably a 5700 uh, X it's again a very very good especially right now it's not it's not $300 right now I think in in Europe you can find one of those for $150 probably less than less than half probably so it's just a great absolutely great buy for 5000 series now and the Zen 3 architecture processor now when you move to the 7000 series they change the socket now you, you're working on the Zen 4 and uh, you have to buy the you have to buy an AM5 motherboard and also some DDR5 RAM you have to change uh, a lot 
and I think that was the big issue because even right now the motherboards that I can the decent one I think it's gonna cost you like three hundred two hundred dollars or two hundred euros which is in my opinion way too much for a, an AM4 socket a good one you can probably buy it for hundred dollars or hundred euros so much uh, much better option there even the the RAM it's uh, they go down in price for the DDR5 it's still more expensive than the DDR4 and especially a lot of people already have those uh, RAM memories on DDR4 and it's make it much more expensive just to change everything because they change the socket and they change the memory and uh, now even the processors uh, they are uh, expensive in my opinion because when you see the release price is $300 for the 7600X and $229 for the 7600 they are still uh, pretty much I think uh, the same let's, let's say or not that much increase in price for, uh, on the first generation but still when you have that five uh, uh, that Zen uh, 5000 the third generation the Zen 3 architecture it's so much harder to, you know, to convince you to just move on the um, 7000 generation which is not even the newest one and the newest one I think they, they again they make a 8000 generation very weird one I don't know what they did it but they did it but for the 9000 generation, 9000 series, which just got released, uh, some of them last year, some of them you can see here this year, it's gonna be uh, 9600, uh, it's not yet to be out, but uh, 9600 XT is $279, which again, doesn't look like, like that much uh, price increase over the first generation, but you have that uh, uh, 5000 5, series and it's so much harder to to just skip that and again if you have a new build you are right now in a weird spot because we know they're gonna change probably in two years they're gonna announce the in two or three years max but probably like two years they're gonna announce the am6 socket and they are pretty much gonna get stuck with the m5 right now because you're gonna put so much money in the in the build of the pc that's why i'm thinking just skip the entirely am5 uh, uh, platform and just wait for AM6 let's see what that brings and if the have some problem with this uh, CPU I'm gonna just change for the 5000 series uh, find a cheap good one uh, that doesn't cost you more than <laughs> no, 100 150 euros and uh, stay with that for the next two three years until they gonna release the new generation and see that how actually they perform because the, like I say the, AMS, uh, the M5 processor based they are better than the, the 5000 series or AM4 but that that price uh, especially for the changing the motherboard changing the memory it's uh it's not that great because i have to pay let's say 300 dollars for a good uh, cpu then i have to pay 200 for the motherboard and then another another 150 probably for the memory and it just adds up it doesn't make any sense especially if you don't use that pc at a uh, full throttle let's say every time uh, it's not worth that much investment in uh, something like that especially like I say in two years probably they're gonna came with the AM6 platform and uh, you are you probably not gonna release any processor on the M5 platform uh, it's not like they did with the M4 they were so much popular even I think today they're still selling or at least on their website you still have look at this even the 4000 series you have the 5000 series the 7000 series but the 5000 series we still have a lot of data on them so they keep an eye very close on them because they know they were so much popular for the consumers but for the night look at the how many processors you have on the 9000 series 8000 series 7000 and then 5000 series how many they are so clearly it was one of those most best uh, selling product the 5000 series from the AMD and that's why I think everybody should wait for the AM6 platform because AM5 even once the AM6 is out I don't think they're gonna make any processor on the AM5 not like they do with the M4 so they're gonna ditch completely the entire platform the AM5 so it doesn't make any sense right now I think especially when we have like two years to wait to just switch and make uh, spend that much money on the platform that's pretty much them to not, not say to failure but <laughs> don't to the end very quickly uh, probably it's gonna be a better buy just to but if you have like if you are like me have a, uh, a first generation Ryzen just buy the one of those uh, 5000 series you're gonna be very well for the next uh, two years and then wait what's happened with the M6 platform now uh, what processor do you have in a processor especially if you are an AMD fan and uh, how well they uh, still running in 2025 and would you wait for the AM6 or uh, 
you're gonna invest some money right now in the M4 plus M5 platform.